To find the number of atoms in the H2O molecule, that's water, we'll count up how many of each element we have. So we see these little numbers here, this two, that's called a subscript. That means there's two hydrogen atoms. So we have two hydrogen atoms, and then the oxygen, it's not written, but we assume there's a one there. So we have one oxygen atom. Two plus one, that gives us three. So we have three total atoms in the H2O molecule. Let's take a look at this another way. If we had a molecular representation of the water molecule where we have hydrogens, those are traditionally white and then the oxygen is red, this is H2O as well. And if we count the atoms up, we have one, two, three, just like we found before. And this right here represents a chemical bond. In this case, they're sharing electrons to form that bond. If you have H2O and there's a two in front of it, like you'll see in chemical equations, this two applies to the whole H2O molecule. You can kind of think like there's parentheses around it, although we don't write them. So if you wanted to find the number of atoms in two H2O, it would be two times the two hydrogen, that's four, plus two times the one oxygen, that's two. So there'd be six total atoms in two H2O. Just double what we got before. That makes sense because we have a two that applies to the whole H2O molecule. This is Dr. B with the number of atoms in H2O. There are three. Thanks for watching.